It's pretty cold out. It's probably like 30 degrees today. State building, uptown, you see it all. It's so beautiful. It's like absolutely ridiculous that I live here. I'm just very lucky. Of course, the sun starts beating in my eyes the second I tried to record. It was so nice seeing my friend Steph for coffee this morning. Steph, if you're watching this, hello. I don't see my friends too often, so when I do, it's always like the best part of my day. I just finished up a small business vlog. Uh, where I talked about how I'm not sure what I want to do with my business at this moment But I do know I love YouTube and making videos editing I even like vlogging which is interesting because I used to not like it But now I really do so I figured I'd continue just make videos even if they're not necessarily about my small business today on the to-do list I just had to finish up a few candle orders, a few decal orders. Today was a rest day So I didn't work out this morning and I was taking today pretty chill I kind of want to read my book for a few hours. I like watching other people's YouTube videos. I recently got really into Aja Dang. She's like so cool and she's a lot closer in age to me than any of the other YouTubers I watch which is very uplifting to me because I low-key watch a ton of people who are much younger than me and that makes me like want to be that age again like 22 or 23 but that's in the past <laughs> and I just want to find other YouTubers who are like upper 20s low 30s and just like gain confidence from them one thing i definitely want to do today is drop off some clutter that i managed to put into four different bags and go to the thrift store and just drop that off there i think that's what i'm gonna do now i'm feeling kind of tired right now because it's around i think 3 or 4 p.m and that's normally when i start crashing so i think getting out of the house and doing something a little active like carrying those four ginormous bags is going to help me so I think that's the move right now. If you don't know me, my name's Monica. I make content about working 9 to 5, small business things, lifestyle, fitness, health, wellness, anything I feel like talking about. If you don't subscribe, I would love that if you would subscribe. If you've been subscribed, thank you. I appreciate you. All right, let's get going. What I'm obsessed with this looks like something you get at Anthropology, but it's only five dollars and it's like really heavy. Oh my gosh, should I get it? I don't know. Oh my gosh, this is so cute too. a.m. 
The sun rises at 7.15. I'm gonna try to go catch it at the skyline. There she is. There's the man. That's my alma mater, <laughs> my college I went to. Those are new dorms that they built after I left. And that's like the main building. I really should have brought my other camera that has a mic because the waves are probably loud and the road is probably loud with all the cars going by. And it's the morning, so I'm not able to talk that loud. And it's windy. So if you get any audio out of this, I'd be surprised. But. I like coming out to watch sunrise whenever I can. I don't do it every day because that's impractical for me. But I try to do it whenever I can because it always starts the day off really well. Quick pause because the sun is passing the skyline. Cute. So cool. Oh my gosh. It's just like, this is like the coolest thing. You can see all the way up past Harlow. And then down there, that's Brooklyn, or like behind downtown is Brooklyn. And all the way down, you can like see parts of Coney Island. Oh my gosh. And like, look at this. Oh, I'm dead. Too bad I look like trash in the morning. Just kidding. We're, we're not talking like that to ourselves anymore. workout class for today is at Cycle Bar. It's a spin class and the theme is Beyonce or the evolution of Beyonce. I am thrilled. It's at 9 15 so this morning I actually have time. Oh my gosh look at this background. Is this going to be thumbnail? I don't know. Some other people out here just taking pictures of the sunrise but it's mostly morning runners and dog walkers and it's it's just like a good crowd to be around you know i feel like if you're a morning person you know there's nothing more empowering than waking up knowing everyone else is asleep and just like enjoying the beauty of the sunrise it's just like nothing beats it i can't and I wasn't always a morning person. This has grown into me. When I was younger, especially in high school, I would just like stay up late into the night. I would take naps all day. It was just like a really messed up sleep schedule. But the best thing that's happened to me is figuring out that waking up in the morning just makes me a better person. Like regardless of how difficult it is to wake up in the morning, I just discipline myself to do it because I know that in the long run, I am just gonna be so much happier. Staying up late literally never makes me happy. In the moment, maybe, because I'm like doing things. But like the next day, throughout the day, I feel the worst. And I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there are tons of people in the world who have never seen this. They live in the and they've never seen this. And I think it's one of the highlights of living here.
building. It's really cool. So I was just curious. Yeah, because I wanted to come to Barcelona. Yeah, and I, you would expect it to be really heavy, but they're actually pretty light, which is nice. The black cat's pretty too. I don't even like them. Lighting is absolutely atrocious, but I am at Lincoln Center watching Harry Potter in concert, which is absolutely ridiculous. It's a whole sculpture behind me. We're at David Greffin Hall, I believe is what it's called, and oh, it's just so beautiful. I haven't been here in quite some time, so I like completely forgot, but it's so nice. I'm about to go in. We have orchestra left seats, like towards the back, but it's still pretty good. And it's just like, this is just something I've been wanting to do for like literally four as long as I knew that these things existed. So I'm very happy we were able to get tickets. Um, very grateful. Yeah, it's just crazy. Literally every time I'm in New York City, I just like cannot believe that this is real. And I just feel very fortunate.